wanted to welcome you to the first video in this video series I've put together on using this new product that's about to be released called Beaver Themer and this video is going to be all about building custom layouts for your website using Beaver Themer and I'm going to go through everything having to do with that and so my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make videos like this for non-techies so I'm doing something I don't normally do I actually put together kind of a presentation so that my thoughts can stay organized and I'm not wasting anyone's time so we're going to look at creating layouts using Beaver Themer in this video now I do want to give you a quick word of warming. I have been using this since February, so I've been using this for maybe the last three months or so, and there are a lot of new concepts that it introduces and a lot of new possibilities it introduces, and you're going to see that over the course of these next few videos where I cover it in detail. Now, as a result of that, it's not just that Beaver Themer's new to me. There's a lot of things that are new to me. So I might say something wrong. I might reference something by the wrong name. Just cut me a little bit of slack. If you are a experienced developer, feel free to leave a comment down below and give me some correction if I refer to something the wrong way, because I want to be as accurate as possible in this video series. So we're going to talk about custom layouts. This is one of the new features that is coming with Beaver Themer or one of the new things it's going to enable you to do is create these layouts. And first of all, let's just talk about what a layout is. So when you visit a website and you click on a blog post, it is using a layout to generate the way that that blog post is going to look. And the same goes when you maybe look at a WooCommerce product page, it's using a layout. Now I want to explain what the difference is between a layout and then using Beaver Builder itself, like how you normally use it on a page to create a page layout. These are different things. Okay. A layout is typically global. So what that means is every blog post is going to look the same. The content Content's going to be inserted in the back end of WordPress and displayed based upon how this layout is. Okay, so that's a layout. Now, typically, what we do is we use Beaver Builder and we might create an About Us page and a Services page and a Home page. Those are custom pages that you built with Beaver Builder. So here is the distinction. If you want to say change something and you've built pages individually with Beaver Builder. Now, if you want to change anything, you have to manually go in and change them on each and every one of those pages with a layout. It's different because it's global. So if I had a hundred blog posts or a hundred product pages, all I have to do is modify the layout once and then it changes on those posts or the various content that is using that layout. So this is where this difference comes in. Okay. Now here's the thing. Layouts are hard to create. Well, before Beaver Themer, they were very hard to create because it involves 100% custom code to create these layouts. And that's why page builders have become so popular because they truly enabled you to create anything you would want visually. And with layouts, traditionally, you couldn't create what you wanted visually. You would have to custom code everything. But because of Beaver Themer, you're now going to be able to create custom layouts visually using Beaver Builder. And this is something that you couldn't do before. You just simply couldn't do it. There was no tool that I am aware of that allowed you to do it with this ease. And that's why there's so many people that are excited about it. And that's why it's opening up new possibilities for anyone that is into building WordPress websites. So now I want to talk about something called a custom post type and explain what that is. Essentially, it's any bit of content that doesn't really fit into a a blog post or into your blog any type of content in bulk so a good example of that is the best example probably is WooCommerce when you're creating products so that is a custom post type and it makes sense right you can't 
create products and put them on your blog, you need a different way of organizing and categorizing, styling and formatting that unique type of content. Another type of custom post type that you might see are for maybe various event plugins or any plugin that creates a different type of content or allows you to put in or funnel in a different type of content that would not be in a blog post. So you're actually using post types and custom post types right now with blog posts and when you're using WooCommerce you're already using these post types and these custom post types. So you're already familiar with not being able to really modify the structure of the layout of how they look on the front end. Now these custom post types you can also have something called a custom field and I'm going to give you a good example of that on my website on my blog portion I can have a video post and what happens is when I say I'm going to do a video post a custom field appears where I can post or just paste in the URL to my video and then when I look at my blog post on the front end of my website that video is not with the rest of the written content it's placed elsewhere on my blog layout and that's typically what these custom fields are for to put information that you're going to have be in separate locations on your layout. I hope you're following me with the whole custom field concept. Now the beauty of Beaver Themer is it's going to also be very easy to pull in the data that you might want to add on these custom fields. So right now out of the box Beaver Themer is going to be fully compatible on any theme when it comes to creating lay layouts for blog posts and for WooCommerce product pages and the page to the shop page that you see you're going to be able to out of the box on any theme use Beaver Themer to go ahead and create layouts there and also if you want to create your own custom post types and create your own custom fields you're going to be able to use Beaver Themer out of the box with any theme there as well. Now there are some situations where Beaver Themer is not really going to have full compatibility with certain custom post types and this would be custom post types for example easy digital downloads or maybe an events plugin right now and the reason why is for them to get the integration with WooCommerce to work perfectly they needed to take what makes up a WooCommerce page right there's a section with the price there's a section with the description the section with the picture the section with the buy button the section with the review stars etc etc they had to take that and slice and dice it up into Beaver Builder modules that you could place where you wanted now the nice thing is is there's developer documentation for these other plugin developers if they wanted to make it possible for Beaver Themer to be able to style their plugins layouts that are generated but Beaver Builder has already done that for WooCommerce. Now there are some exceptions to that. There's a couple layout extensions. So if you're using, I'll give you an example. I use a learning management system and it is what I organize my online courses and my lessons and it generates a layout. And I actually had to custom code a layout big pain in the butt but now I can use Beaver Themer for them and the reason why is because all the parts that make up a lesson layout so there's basically an area for a video there's an area for the content there's the title and there are different parts that are widgetized like the lesson navigation so someone's in a course they could jump to a different lesson and those are actually widgets so it's already kind of sliced and diced up so I don't need anything special from Beaver Builder because I can drag and drop it into the layout using
using the native WordPress widgets. Also, if you're using something that where where the layout could be re-stitched together with short codes. So if the plugin developer, perfect example, if uh, Easy Digital Downloads had everything that makes a product page be broken down into a different short code, which would only be like five or so different short codes, you could easily place those in Beaver Theme or how you wanted it to look. I'm sorry if I lost you there. I'm trying to do my best to make this all make sense. So enough talking. Let me just show you some of these concepts in action. So let me go into the WordPress dashboard here. And this is the test install that I'm going to use for everything that we go through in this video series. Now let me show you what a blog post looks like by default. Let me show you what a WooCommerce product page looks like by default. And I'm also going to explain why this is going to help you from a business perspective. If you have a WooCommerce shop to sell more, if you have a blog on your website to get more engagement and more conversion. So, okay. So here's the front end of the website right here. It's just, I haven't styled it. I haven't done anything. It's just a default, completely default. All I did was add one blog post and I added one product page to WooCommerce. So here is the blog post right here. I'm going to click on it so you can see how it looks by default. I just have my title. It doesn't show me the featured image, although I'm sure I can turn that on in the customizer and just the bit of content right there. There's nothing exciting about it at all. Uh, let's take a look at my shop page right here. I've got this one product here for a fidget cube. And here is what a product page looks like. Oops, this is actually a mistake. Um, I was playing around with the ability in Beaver themer to create custom headers that you would assign to different locations on your website and that's actually I believe in tomorrow's video the next video in the series I don't know if you just noticed that right here I've got the default header and then right here I have a header that I put together that will only show on products that are fidget cubes uh, anyways so here is my WooCommerce product page now I don't like WooCommerce product pages at all I think they all well they all obviously look the same but when I come here there's nothing that is selling it there's no layout there's no format there's no emphasis on actually selling this to me so I have to come here and know what a fidget cube is already and I have to know that I want it because there's nothing from a design perspective that's gonna get me excited to buy this fidget cube unless I was just price shopping for fidget cubes okay so it's your standard WooCommerce layout so now let me go back here and I've already created a layout out in Beaver Themer. I'm going to show you what I did, but let me just show you the difference right off the bat. So all the Beaver Themer stuff is going to be in this section here that says Builder. And here we have our theme layouts, and this is where you're going to find everything. This is Beaver Themer Central right here. So you can see I created a blog layout. Let me go ahead and click into it. And I've already created it, but then what you do after you create it is you assign it to the specific content that you want to use this particular layout. So for me, I'm going to choose, um, let me just choose all posts right here, all posts like that, and I'm going to click on update. So now let me go back to the home page and let me click right here to look at that blog post. So there's an immediate drastic change. I've taken that featured image. I've made it very large, put it on the background there. I overlaid the title and I have some meta information. I didn't really do much beyond there because uh, I just, you, you probably already know how to use Beaver Builder at this point. So you don't need me to teach you how to use that. So here we are. Let me click on launch the page builder so I can show you what I did to make that drastic change. So when you go to create a new Beaver Themer layout, it immediately actually by default default pulls in this style right here. I don't think I changed it actually at all and it's all pretty much the default style here. But essentially right now you can pull in anything that you would normally use when you're building a Beaver Builder page. I can put
put a new row down here and I can put some information. I can make some columns. I can change background colors. I can do anything I want. I can move it all around. If I wanted the header down here, I can do that. If I wanted to add a picture of me or the author or something like that, I can easily put that right there. And then I can take this layout and assign it to whatever blog posts I want. So a perfect real world example of this is my website. I primarily have video posts with a video, but I also want to start having written content in there as well. So in my scenario, I would have a blog post layout for video and I would have a separate blog post layout for just written content. And I can have multiple blog post layouts for video depending on the video that it was for. There's so many different powerful options and choices that I have. So you can really have the full Beaver Builder flexibility. Now right here you're gonna see what is new and it says post modules. And when I click on that, these are new modules that are available that pull in the content from your post. So any images, an author bio, comments, featured image, which is linked in the background image there. We've got the post content itself, which is right here. And then the post info, which is right here and post navigation, I haven't explored that yet. And then we have post title, which is obviously being used right here. So I hope you see the power. You might be thinking Beaver Themer, that's a little on the complicated technical side, but the reality of the matter is, is you're already really good with Beaver Builder if you've used it for any amount of time and Beaver Themer really isn't any more complicated than what you've already learned with Beaver Builder. And that's one of the things I like about the route that they went. If you know Beaver Builder, you're gonna know Beaver Themer. So let me uh, get out of here, publish changes, and then let me get back into Beaver Themer here and show you the product page that I created. It's under Builder, Theme Layouts, and then it's right here for a WooCommerce product page. Now let me, actually I didn't show you the design yet because I don't have it assigned. So I'm going to assign it in this situation, I'm going to assign it to a product category. So with blog posts and WooCommerce products, you can put them in a category and you can even tag them. So you can tell Beaver Themer to apply this layout maybe based upon a category or based upon a tag. So I know for my blog, I'm gonna do it based on tags. For WooCommerce, I would probably do it based on categories so you can have it be a little different. So I'm gonna choose a product category that I created called Fidget Cubes. Let me go ahead and update it and let's go ahead and try to take a look at that. So I'm gonna go back to the home page. I'll click on shop and now I'm going to click on the product itself. And you can see it looks totally different than how it looked before. Remember though, this is my custom header. I'm gonna show you how to do that later. So I've got my big title right here. I've got my price right here. I have some review stars right here, which is actually really nice because that is social proof. Actually, this is something I was playing around with. I have a countdown timer and I'm using a module for uh, from Ultimate Add-ons for Beaver Builder. It's an evergreen timer, so it'll trigger for someone when they first visit the product page. And then I was actually thinking here, maybe having a full width row with maybe different product images or something like that to really make it more sexy. And I've got this background image here of fidget cubes. And then I, I pretty much stopped designing it from there because I just was doing this very quick. But right away, I can put in my sense of urgency with this countdown timer. I've got my social proof right front and center where it should be. Heck, you could even put a um, testimonial here, maybe a, a rotating sliding testimonial or multiple testimonials to just have that social proof. The point being, with having full control of a layout for something as crucial as your WooCommerce product page, you can actually use your product page to actually sell the product and sexy it up and get someone wanting to buy this product. So let me show you that in the page builder. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch my page builder right here. 
And here we are. This is just from right here where it says WooCommerce modules. And this is what I was saying in the presentation portion of this video, where with WooCommerce, Beaver Themer has already segmented and separated each part that makes up a WooCommerce product page, and they made them into separate modules here that you can move around. So I have my buy button right here. If I wanted, I can move it anywhere I wanted. I can put that wherever I want. I have full control without touching a line of code to have a beautiful product page that actually sells the product. And like I said, we've got this ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder countdown timer. If I click on add content, I have the plugin installed obviously, and it is their countdown timer, and you can actually have it be evergreen. So all of these beautiful modules, and I'm sure the other add-on package providers, they either will add compatibility or for Beaver Themer, or it might already be available. I know that today, Ultimate Add-ons for Beaver Builder pushed out their update for the compatibility before the product is launched, Beaver Themer is launched. And uh, so now you can actually use all of these beautiful modules that they add to beautify your website. You can use them in these theme layouts already, which is pretty amazing. But I think this countdown timer is really cool. It's actually evergreen. So you do have a countdown timer built into Beaver Builder natively, but they're the only ones with an evergreen countdown timer and you have full control over the style and everything. And this is actually really, really cool right here. When the countdown reaches zero, so uh, it's not the same for everyone. So when you land on the page, that's when the timer starts ticking for that person and they get cookied. And then you can have in after the timer expires what to do. You can redirect them to a page that has a different price. So you are holding to this limited discount uh, period. Uh, or you can do whatever you wanted right there. So that's actually a really powerful feature that you can use in these product pages if you wanted to. And so here it is using the Beaver Themer to create beautiful product layouts. Now the power of it is that you can create layouts for different categories of products. And you can also create, and we're gonna cover this in the next video, headers different headers for different categories of products as well. Which actually brings me to an interesting idea that I don't know if it's possible, I'm gonna find out right now. What I think would be neat to have the WooCommerce shopping add to cart button in the header and have it be a sticky header. I wonder if that is actually doable, let's see. If not, maybe I can ask them. All right, so let me get out of here. Now, the same way you would create a new theme template is the same way you would create a new header or footer for your website. Let me actually test this. This will be fun. So I created a header layout. Let me launch the page builder. And this is actually just showing me the header layout only. Oh, it doesn't look like it allows you to do that. Bummer. I wonder if there's going to be an override because I think that would be actually really cool to have the, the uh, add to cart button in the header for the product uh, when you're on the WooCommerce page. That would be pretty sweet. Uh, that's going to be a frequently asked, or that's going to be for the Q&A for Robbie. So tomorrow in the video, we're going to go over these custom headers, which is a power, power feature of Beaver Themer to be able to change the visitor experience on your website, depending on where they are on your website, which is going to be massive for membership sites, any site where someone logs in, or even a, a website that is selling things. You might want a totally different experience when they're in the actual shopping pages or product pages so that you eliminate the distractions to kind of drive them to do the decision that you want. So what I'm gonna ask you to do right now is go ahead and leave a comment down below to let me know if there was something specific about this that I did not cover just the custom layouts by the way if there was something specific that I did not cover that you would like me to cover and also if you had any specific ideas of how you think this uh, these custom layouts could really be leveraged to have an amazing website experience for your visitors why don't you go ahead and add that information down below
below. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd hope you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.